Hi there, my name is Kai and today I want to talk to you about growth mindset, especially how to establish a growth mindset in your team and in your employees. This is particularly important because a growth mindset helps your business to grow, hence the name. But even more importantly, it helps your whole team to establish a much better work environment. An environment where everybody can speak their mind, where you can come up with creative ideas to the problems that you want to solve. And of course, where you can think about your business in the future rather than just looking at your day-to-day -day job. So what is a growth mindset? Somebody who has a growth mindset believes that they can learn anything. As long as they put in the work and the practice and the effort. Whereas on a fixed mindset, you think that beyond a certain point that you achieve, you can't learn anything beyond that. You are stuck. For example, maybe you watch a lot of YouTube videos and you think apart from watching them, there's nothing you can do. But with a growth mindset, you can actually learn to hit that like button because it's for the YouTube algorithm and it really helps the channel. But in all seriousness, let's go to the second part of our video, which is all about the elements that you need to promote a growth mindset. And there are really three elements. It's transparency, creativity and risk taking. See, as long as you are transparent, people around you feel much freer to express their opinion. And so you can widen your horizon and you can come up with more ideas. And the same thing is true for creativity, because yes, sometimes you may come up with a wacky idea, but not everything that's been said has to be implemented. Whereas on the other hand, even a wacky idea may have a little bit, a tiny bit of truth in it. And if you promote creativity and if you promote coming up with ideas that you can then look at and see what the truth is in them, then you can also come up with ways to make your life a little bit easier. And of course, you do need a certain amount of risk taking, because if you just stick with the status quo, you are promoting a fixed mindset. Now, what are ways to promote transparency and risk taking and creativity? One of the first things I would say is that you can be open and upfront about what you are trying to achieve here. There's no shame in saying to your team, listen, I want to create an atmosphere, a culture that promotes a growth mindset maybe you get a few raised eyebrows. Maybe some people want to argue about it. But if you put it out up front, you lead by example, you promote transparency right from the start. And so everybody is very clear about what the goal is. It's not about testing their abilities in a certain way or making somebody redundant or trying to downsize the department or some other crazy idea. Because if you don't share what you're trying to achieve, then there will be rumors and some of them will be the things that I just mentioned. So make sure that you share with the team what you are trying to achieve. And that's way number one to create a growth mindset. Second thing I would do is create a creativity roundtable. In the past, I did that a few times. I invited some of my senior leaders and some of my staff to such a creativity roundtable. And I usually started with the question, can you come up with a wacky idea that can make your work a little bit simpler? Now, here's an example. At one stage, I was leading a risk management department. And one of the challenges that we had is that a lot of the risk reporting that we did wasn't really getting through to our end clients, to the people that would actually benefit from it because it was boring and it was not the most exciting thing to read through and it didn't make immediately clear what the benefits were. And so I asked that question, well, what's a wacky idea that you can come up with? And one idea that came up in that creativity roundtable is that somebody said, can we create a projection, like an illusion of a risk manager who just walks in whenever they want and then they have a conversation with that illusion. So we don't have to do that ourselves because there's so many people we'd have to talk to. But if that was like a technology solution, that would be great. First of all, I don't think it's possible. But second of all, even if it was, it's probably really expensive. But it made us think about the problem a little bit differently. It made us think, what if we give the opportunity of requesting a risk report to those people who benefit from it rather than pushing it out to them. Make them responsible to obtain some of the information from us. And then also create a way in which it is presented in a more fun, in a more interactive way. The third thing you can do is simply solve a problem together. Why is that not done more than it is today? Well, typically, 
it can be a lot quicker and sometimes a lot easier if you solve a problem on your own. That's especially true now that we all work from home and are naturally on our own and it's far more difficult to connect via Zoom and you don't have the same type of interaction. But if you promote in your team that there is a problem that you expect them or them and yourself to work on the solution together, it gets to a moment where your team will say, and we did it. Not any single person, but because of the interaction, because of the collaboration, there's this whole new aspect that we did it together. And when people realize how much you can do together as a team, it also shifts the thinking from a fixed mindset that there is a certain limit to what you can learn to an enormous growth mindset where you can learn anything. You just have to put in the effort and the work. And the fourth thing I would say is have one-to-one -one conversations with your team and ask particularly about an area that they feel stuck in. Because we all have those things. Sometimes in the past, I was feeling stuck on marketing. I wasn't particularly good at it and I wasn't particularly interested in it. And so I had that fixed mindset belief that there is only so much I can learn about marketing. Whereas with the right amount of effort and work, I can probably learn anything about that. But it would have taken somebody to have this particular conversation with me. So go out to your team and ask them particularly about an area that they feel stuck and then promote that they could do something. They could maybe take a course. They could do one particular task to develop that skill set. By the way, don't forget yourself. You know, I'd love your team to strive for a growth mindset and be amazing in it, but I want you to have the same experience as well. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons I launched this channel is to actually make this happen and to give you the tools for better growth, for better business practices, for better operations and for better leadership. So I want you to have a growth mindset as well. And there are two things that you can do right now, in addition to all the other things that I just mentioned. Number one is that if there is an area that you feel truly stuck in, there's a link in the description box below. It's for a free 15 minute call. And I dare you to give me a call because I love discussing those kinds of things. And the second thing is that a lot of things about growth mindset also have to do with decision making. So I've made a video on that, which I link on the screen right now. I will see you over there. And of course, in the next video. Mm -hmm.